deny ya Make all the demons quiet yeah. We were built to thrive, yeah I think that we've all had enough What keeps you up at night, yeah Make all the demons quiet, yeah We were built to thrive, yeah Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to PXT. Tonight we have an action-packed show because last night Titan went against the White Viper of Russia, Sigil, and came up short. He even came in with a new battle strategy and everything, but he was not able to pick up the win. But we did crown a new number one contender for the title, and that is Super. Super has, apparently all today has been talking nonstop about his victory inside the first ever PXT. We're going to call it quarantine match because of Bio War, but in the first ever quarantine match, Super was able to pick up the win, and he has not been shutting up about it and claiming to be already the man to defeat the White Viper because right now Sigil is undefeated, and Titan has heard enough he is irate he is bad so that's why tonight we are starting on pxc with a fucking kaiju against the kaiju that's right ladies and gentlemen it is titan versus super to start off pxc here tonight the titan i'm gonna go ahead and uh just pop open one of the bubbly not actual the bubbly, it's, it's soda, I swear. Here he is! Titan! Honestly, I'm more amazed that Titan is wanting to open the show here tonight. He gave out everything he could last night in the main event of Bio War. Everything he could. Came in with a new battle strategy and everything against C. Jill. But C. Jill was just way too much for the Titan. Titan coming in probably with maybe a more humbled mindset. I'm not sure. I don't know what's going through the mind of Titan after coming up short last night. And not just short, but coming out in possibly literally the quickest match of the night. So you can imagine what's going on in the head of Titan. But right now he has to focus on the new eighth wonder of the world. Super. Super is a man that has, God, done everything there is to wrestling. Hell, he's even gone to the top rope and freaking done some, like, weird, sure, not you shit. It's insane what we've seen Super here, uh, done here tonight. And honestly, well, not tonight, but just in general what we've seen him done in his career. But so far in PXT, he has not really gone out to impress anybody. He's barely picked up his first victory last night in Bio Ward. Don't get me wrong. It was a crazy match. Literally, a quarantine match inside a Hell in a Cell free-for-all six-man. Somehow, <laughs> the big man was able to pick up the win. So you can imagine him being hella cocky, thinking that he can put away the undefeated White Viper of Russia. There is Titan. Trying to possibly shut up the new number one contender here tonight. And look at this. Oh, Titan coming in strong with a big clothesline to the corner. And now dropping Super down. Looks like Titan coming in with a lot of frustration from last night. Big DDT right there. Titan letting out all his anger from last night. Not only coming up short, but being embarrassed by being defeated in under seven minutes of the match, I want to point out. Oh! Go. Same for a high-risk remover, and the risk did not pay off. Now Super looking to take control. Working on the shoulder now. And it's just Joe. More disrespect to Titan by stomping on the man. No, Super is over 400 pounds. 100 pounds of muscle. Oh, look at this. Gets tied up and throws him. Goes towards the ropes. Oh, look at this. Gets him up and now an inverted choke slam. 
Super now just showing why he why his name is Super and coming in with big punches. Oh, Titan and throwing in the corner. Oh, it's a big build, but Titan still, Gretchen Super still standing. Titan was not able to stop him. Super got him up, throws him neck first on the top rope. Super going for the pin. One, no, does not eat. Well, gets a one, but that's a it. Ooh, big knee shot right there. Super now, right now, taking full control of the match. Oh, look at this. Super coming in with a bear hug, looking to possibly make the Titan tap out here tonight. But no, Titan's not giving up. Titan is not giving up. And oh, big shot there. Oh, big shot there. Is Titan looking to make a comeback here tonight? Big clothesline. Titan coming off with, oh, was going for a big splash in the corner, but misses. And oh, Super is going for the big boot. Missed that as well. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Titan choking Super. Big gut punch and has the giant down. Oh, big punch there. Super tossing Titan to the ropes. Oh, stops him with a choke slap and he immediately picks him up for a choke slap as well. And oh, Titan hitting Super with an Itsuguri. Now look at this. The Titan Suplex. One, two, no. Super kicks out. I have the wrong can open. <laughs> I went for a sip and it did not work. Yes, this is not what's happening in the match, but we're going with it. Oh, look at this. Oh, that's... Oh, does it drop Super this time? And oh, now drops it down with a DDT. Oh, look at this. Look at this. <laughs> Give me the disrespect back. Oh, look at that Super. Going in for another bear hug. Looking to possibly just wear down Titan as much as possible. But again, Titan has been in enough holds to know how to get the out of it. And oh, big clothesline from Titan to Super. And it looks like Titan looking to shut up Super. No. Oh, look at this. The show of equal strength here tonight. Oh. Look at this Super thinking that might be enough. One, two. I think Super's eagerness may have tried to cost him there a little bit. Oh, what's this? What's this? Guts tighten up. Drops it for Snake Eyes in the corner, and he's down now. Question is what Super going for. Oh, look at this. Oh, big power slam. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Titan rolling out. And so, oh, Super. The Giants on the top rope. Oh, immediately drops down. Titan. This... Showing his frustration to the crowd here tonight. And now, Super getting him back in the ring. Whoa. Oh, big clothesline from Titan. Catching Super off guard. Right now, Titan. Oh! I, oh, my God. That knee strike just busted open. Super right now. Oh, look at this. Look at this. And oh! Olympus Falls! Is that enough to put away Super? Is it enough? One, two, no! Super still going and gets up almost immediately. Titan throwing Super to the ropes. Hits him with a big boot and sends him flying. Literally sent him rolling. Oh, here it is. Northern Lights! Oh, no, but look at this. I think we're about to see. No, no, Super reverses it. Oh, attacking, <laughs> attacking the knee there. And now hits a drop kick. I do not like seeing Super hit a drop kick there. Oh, big splash into the corner. All right, now looking to take it to. Oh, no, Super now hitting it. It's a gurry. Oh, look at this. Super looking to make the big comeback here tonight. Drops him down from seven feet and goes for a big splash. Oh, 
whole big boot right there. That's the super boot. That's what that was. You heard a super kick. That was a super boot. Here it is. One, two. No, Titan is still going. Oh, look at this. Titan immediately gets up. Oh, look at this. I think Titan's going in. Oh, fuck. Titan. <laughs> the big gut shot. There it is. Good shot right there from Titan to Super. Now Super rolling out of the ring. Trying to get some little separation here. But Super. Oh! Titan goes in for a big splash from the top to the outside and connects it as well. Titan showing his frustration here tonight about last night's match. Here it is, Titan now just tosses, oh, tosses Super to the steel steps. And now goes for a reverse Sentine, I guess, because it hit the back. And again, look at that Titan just stomping on the chest of Super. Oh, Super going in for leg sweep there. Now Super coming back at it. Super coming in with big strikes here. Oh, what's this? What's this? Oh, big choke slam. I believe we're at a count of seven right now. A count of eight, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Titan stopped the count. Titan does not want it to end like that. Titan wants to fight. He wants to hurt Super right now. Oh, now attacking the already injured legs of Super. Super has had a lot of leg problems in his past career. Right now, Titan is just punishing Super at this point. Just getting his frustrations out, but Super looking to... Nope. Was looking to make a comeback. There it is. Oh, tosses Titan across the way. And now Super just trying to get back in the ring. Looking to just make... Try to get more of a breather. And now again, just the cockiness. Oh, oh look at this. That may have cost Super here tonight. Olympus Falls! That has to be it. One. No! Super grabs the bottom rope to get out of the pin. That was a great catch. Oh, but look at this. Tyne looking to hit another one. But no! Super showing his absolute strength and hits him with an Alabama slam. And now attacking the legs of Titan. What's Super going for here? But no, look at this. The Titan suplex. And now Titan looking to put Super away here tonight. Trying to go for it. Once again, here it is. Olympus Falls. There's one, two, three. And Titan puts away the number one contender for the YouTube championship. And with that, Super picks up another loss on his record. And Titan claims another victory. Yes, what a match so far. That is correct. Uh, Bugrip right now is actually injured and is not competing here tonight. Uh, he, he's not injured enough to vacate the title. Right now he has a minor injury, so he is not competing here tonight along with Abcol and Carlo Mendez. The minor injuries, but tonight they will not be competing. But Rodrigo demanded to actually initiate his rematch clause tonight since he was the former champion and he could activate that. But we gave him a secondary option. If he can defeat Pierce Perch here tonight, he will actually be added to the main event of Hellfire for the PXT Championship to where it will be turned into a triple threat match for the PXT Championship. But the thing is, he's going to have to go against the GOAT of wrestling himself. That's right, Pierce Perch. Will he be able to defeat the GOAT of PXT or will he fail and lose his title rematch opportunity? Let's find out here tonight, ladies and gentlemen, because it is up next.
Honestly, we can only imagine, literally only imagine what is going through the mind of now the former PXT champion. Honestly, did not think we'd see this image here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. We literally thought Rodrigo was going to be able to pick up the win last night because he started the match off strong. He started off with a three-point lead, but Bugrip just proved to be way, way more than Rodrigo expected. It was an excellent match. Honestly, I'm impressed to see Rodrigo even standing right now. Hell, right now he has some staples on top of his head because he was the first man busted open last night. And God, honestly, because of this match, oh, because of this match, we can only imagine what's going to happen. Again, for people who don't know, Rodrigo and Bugrip go five years back when we first tried to launch PXT. They were the finalists for the PXT Championship. Rodrigo came up short against Bugrip at that time as well, and Bugrip was crowned the first ever PXT Champion. But because we went through some bankruptcy uh pxt was pretty much canceled and rodrigo was never correction bugrip was never able to shine as pxt champion then on our resurgence we brought them back but luck would have it rodrigo would become the first ever pxt champion for this second round for us rodrigo known as the blue menace here looks to add himself again back into the title picture shot for our next big show hellfire but he's gonna have to go against as we just said the goat of pxt pierce perch pierce perch had a dominating match against the kid literally destroyed the kid and proved that he is if not the absolute best and there's a reason we signed him here tonight Correction, not tonight, but signed him here in PXT, and he is proving it here right now. Pierce Birch looking to defend his one-on-one -on -one match at Hellfire. Honestly, you got to give props to Pierce Birch big time because not only did he literally dominate the kid the kid who was at the time undefeated but he made the kid and I quote here his absolute bitch now the question is can he do it to now the former PXT champion here tonight or will Rodrigo be added to Hellfire PXT Universe sounds excited. Let's get this match going. Pierce, Perch, Rodrigo. Let's see what happens. Ooh, look at that. Rodrigo is looking to come in with some fire, but Perch coming in. Oh, there it is. Oh, and Rodrigo again coming with fire. This is the reason why Rodrigo was able to claim the PXT champion. is because he is vicious in the ring. He is an absolute menace in the ring. He shows pure dominance. But last night, oh, there it is. Oh, here it is. He calls this the Chaos Faction. There it is! Chaos Faction, in honor of his brothers, who we are still in talks with, coming in PXT and Pierce Birch, catching Rodrigo into a suplex and looking to take advantage and control of the match. Coming in with big knee shots to the face. Big knee shots to the face of Rodrigo. Pierce Perch now reclaiming it. Honestly, I think Perch is taking advantage of the match right now because Perch had a regular match last night. Rodrigo went a full hour inside an... Well, not inside, but in an Iron Man match. He is exhausted. I'm more impressed that he is here. Our chat saying their money is on Perch. Honestly, I can agree on that because... I, I don't see Rodrigo coming back at it, but Rodrigo's just proving me wrong a little bit right now because I don't know how the hell he's still standing after an hour-long Iron Man match literally just last night. Look at this. Oh, and Rodrigo coming in with a cheap leg sweep like that. Rodrigo now looking to take control, but Perch coming in with a reversal, hits him with a big punch, and now Perch looking... Oh, here it is. We saw this. 
Oh no, that was a high... And looks like he just busted Rodrigo's stables open. Rodrigo's busted open again. Look at this. Oh! That was the goat cutter. Oh, good brain buster there. Oh, but how the fuck is Rodrigo still going? I don't know how Rodrigo is up. One, he's busted. Two, he's just got hit with big ass moves. I don't know how Rodrigo is still functioning at this point. Rodrigo went to an absolute war and <laughs> somehow still being able to do what he's doing. And now looks like Perch. Oh, coming in with his own set. Looking to make a comeback and looking to put Rodrigo's chances for the title shot away. But Rodrigo to say no as well and hits him with a gut wrench suplex. Oh, Perch quickly rolling out. Rodrigo falling suit. What's going for a big... Big slab there, but look, Rodrigo. No, Perch countering and hits him on the back of the knee. Oh! What the? Uh, okay, Rodrigo's just going. Rodrigo. Oh! Big! <laughs> Stop. And my Perch is up! <laughs> Holy shit, what's going on here? Oh, what is. Oh! Beautiful driver from Perch to Rodrigo from the outside! Perch trying to get Rodrigo back in the ring. Rodrigo looks done. Like Perch going in for it. No! Goes for an elbow drop, but misses. Rodrigo goes, goes misses with a big strike there. I think he's still dazed from the Iron Man match. Oh! Beautiful kick! And he just, he's not phased. Rodrigo's just not phased. And again, Perch reversing. Oh, look at this. Look at this. I think. No, Perch got him up and then throws him face first into the top rope. Oh, I, I don't know what was happening there, but now it looks like Perch is just attacking the arm of Rodrigo. Not a bad call because Rodrigo won't be able to hit his discus clothesline. Oh, he hits it anyways! He hits the discus! Is that it? Is that it? One! Two! Perch kicks out! <laughs> Holy shit! Uh oh, uh oh. Is Rodrigo gonna be able to hit his brother's lava latch? There it is! Did he just put away the goat? One! Two! No! Perch is not done! But Rodrigo's not done either! Rodrigo's not done either! And hits another discus! There's no way! One! Two! Rodrigo has pinned Pierce Perch! Literally, literally, just over 24 hours ago, he was in an hour long Iron Man match that he got busted open again, but it's not even a lot. Rodrigo was able to pull off a win against the GO of PXT. What the fuck? I didn't see that coming. My god. He hit the discus, then he hit the lava ledge, then he hits the discus. He, he just destroyed Perch. But because of that, we have to honor the agreement. So now it looks like at PXT Hellfire, it's going to be Rodrigo, and Pierce Perch, and Bugrip in a triple threat match for the PXT. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, I lost money too. I thought Perch was gonna win, man. Holy shit, God. Congratulations to Rodrigo for get, getting not only his rematch clause at Hellfire, but also uh, just defeating the GOAT of PXC. It's, God, that was insane. Last night, Gen X came out to the ring looking to gloat about his literal only win in PXT. But he was stopped by Mox because Mox was already getting tired of Gen X. Gen X has literally been on the show numerous times and he has literally done nothing. Uh, Gen X looking to probably right the wrong because they had a match last night, Gen X and Mox, and Mox somehow, some way, though he got hit with next gen, uh, Gen X's 
finishing maneuver, uh, was able to pick up the win for his first victory in PXC. But now Gen X demanded a rematch here tonight. So tonight it is Gen X versus Mox. Also, want to let y'all know, sorry that there's no music right now. It's just to avoid copyright. But PXC will be edited and uh, will hopefully come out either tomorrow or probably Friday, depending on how long the editing process takes. Uh, if not during those times, it will be hopefully before the next PXC show. Gen X, a former MMA fighter. Looking to right or wrong that happened here tonight. Mox needs to shut his mouth. Let's go, Gen X. <laughs> Gen X. Well, looks like Gen X finally has one fan. <laughs> Gen X, a former MMA fighter, coming to PXC to show to everybody that he is the next generation of wrestling. But he has to get past <laughs> an absolute psychopath. Mox coming in with, again, I don't know where the hell he gets the permit to fucking bring this guy in the ring, but he brings in a fucking motorcycle. <laughs> Look, we allow, we allow our stars to do a lot of stuff here. I ain't expect him to do this, though. No. <laughs> he brings in an ice cream truck. Uh, we're going to have to have a talk. There he is, Mox coming in. Looking to again shut the mouth of Gen X. Ox ready to probably pick up not only another victory, but his second victory here in PXC. But also Gen X looking to do that as well. And right or wrong that happened last night. Because because of last night's match, Gen X now has now has five losses in PXT history. Let's probably show the logbook after this. We'll show the logbook after this. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Gen X versus Mox. Let's see what happens here tonight. Mo oh, look at this. Mox already showing some strength against Gen X. Oh, he's looking for a knee strike, but Gen X quickly gets up and hits him with a big clothesline. Gen X, oh, big <laughs> DDT. Holy shit, send Mox flying practically. Next going, oh, hits a big knee to the corner there. Gen X, a former MMA fighter and a former MMA champion as well in his own right. Uh, hasn't really had a lot of success here in PXC. Barely getting his first victory just last week, actually. Oh, it's a good knee shot there. And now getting Mox up for, no. Oh! I guess Tristic Suplex, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know what to call that. Oh, but there it is, Mox coming back now. Oh, Mox him catching Gen X into the corner with a big clothesline and now gets him up by the legs and sends him dropping down and thinking that's enough. Mox with a pin. Gen X. God, I don't even know if that gave him the one technically. Gen X kicking him in the gut. Gen X looking to take control, tossing Mox to the ropes now. Oh, hits him with his own, own knee shot to send Mox flipping. Oh, big strike right there, but Gen X was able to block his MMA background coming in, but oh, gets caught in a suplex. Oh, look at this, just working on the arm of Gen X right now. On both arms right now, looking to probably stop his striking power. But that's the thing, Gen X is not only just a striker with his fist, he, he's more exceptional striking with his legs. And it looks like Mox is going in. Or submission, or just trying to wrench the arm more. Looking like he was just trying to work on the arm. It's a big elbow right now. Gen X is struggling to get back in this. Oh, but wait! Oh, big! It's a gurney to the forehead of Mox. Could this be Gen X's comeback? Oh, big strike there! Those are the heavy strikes that we talked about from Gen X. That was one of his big strikes. That's the skull. Oh, look at this. We're about to see it here, ladies and gentlemen. Here it is. Next gen. Is it enough? One, two, 
No, Mox was able to kick out. But to be honest with you, from this angle, it did look like Mox's foot was underneath the rope. But I guess the ref didn't catch it. Look at this. Ooh. Looking to show a little bit of disrespect there. Mox was able to dodge. And now look at this. Mox hitting a big clothesline there. Gen X immediately getting up though. Oh, what's Mox going for here? Mox trying to send Gen X flying, but no. Oh, look at this. Rebound. He hits the psycho rebound. Here it is. One, two. Wasn't even close to enough. Mox might have no choice but to try to hit Asylum here. Wait, what's this? Oh, a big exploder suplex. Mox going to the top rope. And goes in with a... Oh, a big leg drop. Oh, but look at this. Gen X coming back around. Turning it around. Looking to probably stop Mox's onslaught. But look. Oh, good move over there. And no, oh, it's a good twisted neck breaker. And Gen X looking to close it off. Looking to close it up. Here it is. Is it enough here? There's next gen. Here it is for the win. One, two. No, does not get it. It looks like it looks like Gen X's one fan in the chat is all in on Gen X wanting him to pick up his first victory here. Oh, but it looks like Mox is not having it. Mox looking to disappoint the chat. Oh, but look at that. Gen X quickly rolling out. Looking to gain some gain some stamina back. Oh, look at this. Mox taunting away. Might have been his downfall, though. Because now Gen X looks to take advantage. I don't know what happened there. I don't know if Gen X was just a little disoriented. Couldn't really land any holds on Mox there. Now Mox is in control. Oh, what's Mox going for here? Oh, look at this. Gen X. Gen X also not giving up. Gen X looking to make it come out. Oh, it's the big kick again. One. Oh, Mox. Quickly reaching for the ropes, realizing where he is. Insane, I tell you right now. Just insane. Oh, but look at this. Gen X looking to end it with one more next gen. Is that it? Is that enough? One, two, three. And with that, Gen X picks up his second victory in PXC, correcting the wrong that happened here tonight or happened last night. Oh, look at this, Gen X just showing, <laughs> showing everyone that no one should question his ability here in PXT. This punishing Mox here tonight. Gen X stands tall. Oh. I gotta give props where it's due. Gen X was able to shut Mox up. Real quick, we're gonna upgrade. Oh, well, we're gonna update the fogs real quick. We're gonna show off the book uh, in a second here. So to show it off here, we have a logbook here. This is the logbook of PXT. Pretty much showing everybody's wins, loss, and draws, or even title reigns. With that said, just wanted to show it off that we are keeping track of this stuff now. So in case we uh, fuck up somewhere, uh, in case y'all fact check us. It actually might correct us if y'all do. <laughs> All right, well, congratulations to Gen X on defeating Mox and just showing everyone in the back showing everybody in the back that Gen X is the future of wrestling. But now on to our next match, and this is an interesting one. We had talks with uh, Satoshi Makoto. Uh, for people that don't know, Satoshi Makoto is the crime boss of PXT, and recently last night he went into a submission match against uh, Ace, where if Ace lost, he would have no choice but to join his faction. That's right. Looks like the crime boss is trying to bring in new blood. And with that said, it looks like the crime boss himself has sent Ace to go for Devil himself. Here he is, Ace. 
now under the authority of the crime boss of PXT himself, Satoshi Makoto. Satoshi literally, literally begged us for this type of match because he said that he demands to fight the demon himself. The man that walks on fire. The man that walks through the flames of hell. Commanded to fight him, but Satoshi said he's not going to be the one to do it. He's going to send Ace to do his dirty work. Now I want to point out here, Ace has yet to pick up his victory, a victory here at all in PXT. Uh, he has always come up short, and not just that, he actually has tapped out a lot here in PXT to Satoshi. But also, Satoshi does play dirty. Very, yeah, Satoshi plays pretty dirty. Like bad. But now tonight, Ace looks to face his demons. People who don't know, Devil is a former WWE Champion, a former World Heavyweight Champion, a former Tag Team Champion. But with all these accolades said, he has actually struggled to come out on top in some of his matches here tonight. He's either lost by ring out count or he was put down by U-Grip himself. U-Grip had to shut up everybody because on their first match against each other, he had no choice but to get a ring out victory against Devil. But Devil, looking to continue to put the fear in every one of his opponents. Not even here tonight, but on every goddamn showing of PXT. Devil has been out of the spotlight for over pool seven years now and he recently made his comeback to PXT which honestly I don't know how the hell we signed the man but told him <laughs> shit Devil has gone to war with some of if not the greatest wrestlers in WWE he's gone against The Undertaker he's gone against John Cena he's gone against Triple H Daniel Bryan almost if not Every big star that you can think of in WWE, a devil has been able to put them down. But I believe the ring rust right now is really showing against the demon himself, the ruler of hell. Now, the question is, is devil 100% because he was in that quarantine match, the Hell in a Cell quarantine match to where it was everybody free for all. The question is, is Devil 100% or can Satoshi claim a new client under his ruling? Honestly, I think if, if he's able to claim Devil, I think there may be nothing to stop Satoshi. Well, not only just rising up to the top of PXT, but practically owning PXT. Here it is, Ace versus Devil here tonight. Let's see what happens. Oh, Devil going in for Big Boo, but quickly gets caught. And look at this, Ace just going in for a submission to hold right off the bat. The Devil's not taking it lightly. Look at this. Devil's looking to show Ace why he is a former WWE champion, former champion in general here tonight. Oh, big punch to the face. Oh, Ace big punch. And look at this. Ace again going for another submission. I, I don't know what's going on. I, I don't know why. Ace is not really... That well attuned to some mission maneuvers. Oh, but look at this. Ace looking to make a comeback himself. Ace now looking to go in for a big small package suplex to Devil. Oh, it's going for a big stomp, but look at this. 
The big strike from Devil, but quickly blocks the second one. It looks like Ace may have done a little of his homework here against Devil. Oh, big kick. Devil quickly rolling out. That's actually a first. We, we don't really see Devil actually roll out of the ring from these type of maneuvers in general. So this is interesting. But now Ace rolling out. Devil going to the top. Devil showing his brother why he can go to the top rope too. Two. Devil's brother, Justin, is actually one of, if not the most legendary high flyers of WWE. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh, what the fuck was that? I don't even know what that was, but holy shit, it did a number to Devil. Oh, look at this. Now Devil looks to be... Now Devil looks to be struggling a bit against Ace. And Ace quickly getting back in there. Oh, wait, look at this. What's... What? what what's going... I think Satoshi was trying to get him back in the ring. I don't know what's going on here, but it looks like Satoshi was trying to get Devil back in the ring. And now... now I, I don't I don't know what's going on here. Oh, big punch there from Ace, but Devil quickly getting out of that hole. Oh, oh. But Ace is going to go... Oh, no, no, no! Oh, to the steel barricade! Oh, but that, <laughs> that did nothing to Devil. I'm telling you, man, Devil is practically an otherward, otherworldly being at this point. Big gut punch. Devil throwing Ace to the ropes. Oh, I don't know what happened there. I think things are just not timed right, but tries to go for a jumping clothesline. Does it connect? And now gets caught in Exploder Suplex. Devil looks to be struggling against Ace. Oh, oh, that was a big forearm. I get put away. Oh. Oh wait, what's this? What is what is Ace going for? Oh! Honestly, is this, this is the only reason why I do love watching Ace fight? Cause holy crap, man! I think Ace is trying to set up for Memento Mori, but he's trying to keep Devil down. But Devil just does not want to stay down. Devil, Devil again going for that jumping clothesline, but quickly. Getting blocked by Ace. Ace just taking control of the match right now. Oh, Devil quickly dodging that big shot. Was trying to go for a big strike himself. Quickly getting caught, but catching Ace's big strike. No. Oh, big gut punch. Big combo. Oh, hit the gut punch into an uppercut. Oh, I think Devil was about to. Oh, what the? We just saw the Devil fly, but sadly he missed. God damn, he fucking went flying, though. He went all the way to the fucking table. Oh. But now Ace just taking control. I, th I think Devil hit, hit the side of his head. Oh, no, misses the super kick there. Devil looking to come back at this now. Oh, what's Devil going? Oh, Devil going for his old rival and ally. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Old school here in PXT. Oh, what's this? Ace. Ace getting some help from the crime boss of PXT. Oh. Oh, Devil quickly getting up, though. Oh, I think he was going for Memento Moy, but he missed. Oh, just raking the back. Oh, what's Devil going for here? Oh, look at this. Oh, dropping him for Snake Eyes into the corner. Devil looking to punish Ace for the second half. He's going for the pin. Is it enough? One. No. Nowhere close to enough here tonight. Oh, I thought, I'm not going to lie to you. I thought... Devil was going to go for another fucking dive. Oh, snap suplex from Ace to Devil. Devil right now is having a tough time keeping up with a young kid. Oh, big gut shot. Devil has been working on the gut shots here tonight. Oh, look at that. Look at that showing a little display of work there from Devil to Ace. 
Oh, look at this! Straight to hell! Here it is for the win! One, two, no, Ace kicks out. Oh, look at this, looking to make his brother proud here tonight. Here it is, big elbow from the top! And Satoshi now trying to distract Devil to give Ace a little bit of an advantage here tonight. And gets caught a suplex and hits a bridge, one! No, only gets a one count off Devil. Oh, but hits a big boot. Devil quickly rolling out. And now, getting Ace. I think Satoshi was about to punch Devil there. Oh, misses the leg drop. Oh, big drop kick. Oh, look at this Ace catching Devil, throwing him back in the ring. Look at this Satoshi looking proud. Oh, what's the What's Ace going for here? Look at this, got him going. Oh, look at this, look at this. Beautiful maneuvers here from... Oh my god, holy shit, what the fuck's going on? Holy shit! Absolute skill and mastery of the ring shown here tonight from Ace to Devil. And I, I guess Ace is again trying to set up for Memento Moy, but... Devil is not allowing it. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Looking to probably... This will probably keep Devil down. Look at this. It looks like he's calling for it. He's calling for Memento Moy. That might be it here tonight. One. Two. Devil kicks out. <laughs> Devil kicks out here tonight. And the crowd saying fight forever. Everybody is amazed here tonight. Looks at this. Looking to hit another. Memento Moy and lands the shot. Is it enough to keep Devil down? No. <laughs> Devil is not human. What is going on? <laughs> oh, a discus elbow. Right now. I think Ace is trying to think of some way, something to do to just put Devil down. Devil is not get Oh! He gets cut! Devil catches Ace! And jumps him down! Devil is not human, I tell you this, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know how he is going through all this. Gets him with a leg drop to the outside. And now just striking the face of Ace! Holy shit, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know how the hell Devil is still up. I don't know how he's still going. Oh, look at this. But Satoshi... Oh! Catches! Catches De Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Are we about to see it here? Oh! Thought we were going to see a little bit of disrespect here tonight. And now it looks like Ace setting up for possibly the final momento. No, hits a drop kick. Ooh, big shot there. And now, oh, look at this. The exceptional skill of Ace being displayed here tonight. I think Ace now setting up for possibly the final momento. Moy! If Devil kicks out, I'm going to be amazed. But no, Ace picks up the victory here tonight. Ace picking up his first victory here in PXT now. And honestly, I believe everybody now sees what Satoshi can do for people's careers. But honestly, I think it's going to take a lot more to get devil on his side but now on to our next match well first off congratulations to ace on defeating uh multi-time former champion devil but on to our next match of the night uh, these two competitors went into the bio war quarantine match last night to try to pick up a title opportunity now these were the only two men that were undefeated at the time but sadly with super picking up the win it gave them their first loss since they both did not well pick up the win. 
Now, with that said, though, they would like to see who could beat who. Because they have yet to be pinned in PXT. Yes, they lost last night, but they were not pinned. So because of this, we are going to be seeing here tonight who is actually the true undefeated between the two. It is Onyx against Bone Tubular. Looks like we're introducing first Onyx. Honestly, Onyx hasn't really performed a lot here in PXT, but he has shown exceptional skill here in PXT. Onyx is an exceptional fighter here, and honestly, he is probably one of, if not the most craziest here, because holy shit, his suicide of pile driver is something to be seen, because holy shit, it, <laughs> shit. Whoever that fan was that just went, yeah, calm yourself. Murphy, thank you for being excited. <laughs> Onyx has yet to make a big splash into PXT, like a big statement, in other words. But maybe tonight can change that since he is going against someone like Bone Tubular. Bone Tubular is a high speed fighter and literally goes full on quickness straight off the bat. But now this is interesting because both their finishing moves, Bone's Bone Spike and Onyx's uh, Flatline, are almost very similar. So that's where this is going to be an interesting match, ladies and gentlemen, to see how it goes. And now Onyx, is, this might be Onyx's biggest challenge here tonight because He's going to be going against Bone Tubular. Bone has yet to be pinned here in PXT. And not just that, is possibly one of, if not the most fastest in PXT. Literally, straight off the get-go, he comes in with high velocity and high speed, going full 110% in the match. So it's going to be interesting to see how this match plays out. We got a hybrid powerhouse going against a speedster high flyer. So this is gonna be very interesting to see. Bone tubular, Onyx. Let's see what happens, ladies and gents. And Onyx looking to come in with pure force right now. Personally, oh big leg drop right there. Personally, I like to say that Onyx is a bit of a hybrid when it comes to fighting, because he can either go to springboard high flying to pure powerhouse. That's where I think it's very interesting to see Onyx get into the ring and get into the match. But right now, it looks like he's taking control and looking to probably stop Bone from even getting started in general. But Bone trying to get up, trying to get into the match. Come up and hits him with a big forearm there. Oh, big splash! <laughs> Big splash right there, but Onyx quickly getting up. It is Bone standing him, and immediately Bone trying to go in fast again. Oh, Onyx stopping it though. Onyx is trying to stop Bone from going in high velocity, but it looks like Bone is doing it anyways. Oh, big punch there. Again, I believe, honestly, Onyx is doing a good job on keeping Bone sort of steady space. A steady paced right now. It's very steady paced. Bone will be the undefeated one. But well, I guess we'll see here tonight. Here it is. Onyx going for the pin. One. Honestly, I would not be surprised on whoever wins this match, actually. Because, like I said, both men had technically not been pinned here at PXT. So it would be very interesting to see what happens. Personally, I do believe Bone may have more of advantage. Because, like I said, he's a very... He's a very speedster type of high flyer. He goes in for full velocity and full risk. And again, catching Onyx in a Herakarana. Looking to get the pin here, but Onyx quickly kicks out. Now, no, Onyx is still, is also a veteran in PXC or veteran in wrestling. This is actually first promotion here ever. Oh, look at this, look at this, look at this. Oh, beautiful reversal from Onyx. Stopping the onslaught of Bone. Like I said, Onyx is doing a good job right now, though. Keeping Bone, like, pretty steady paced. 
But again, look at this, Bones. Herakarana is a thing of beauty to be seen here. Yep, gain of speed, then puts Onyx away. Honestly, I believe that. That's what Onyx, I believe, is trying to stop right now. Trying not to let Bone at least get any chance. Any chance. Oh, look at this high fly maneuver from Onyx to Bone. The Bone quickly getting up, but again, Onyx just trying to keep Bone down. Again, not, not a bad idea from Onyx trying to just keep Bone steady paced. If Bone is steady paced, technically he can't use his high speed for anything. But now the real question is, which maneuver is going to be the one to finish things? Will it be Bone Spike or will it be Flatline? Oh! Oh, Onyx going in with the big moves there. A powerbomb on the hardest part of the ring. But now Bone taking, coming back from it. Sort of treated the powerbomb like as if it was nothing. Both men are at a count of six right now, but Onyx looking to put Bone back in the ring. Now I was gonna say he still wasn't in the ring, so I mean, oh wait, what's this? What's this? What's this? Oh, oh I I don't know what that was. It looked it looked more like a slap, but I guess it was a clothesline. Oh, dropping Bone down, looking to go for the pin here. One, two. Bone quickly kicking out after the two. Bone is... I, I've got to say it though. Bone is struggling a bit here now. Bone, the only thing Bone right now is struggling to do is just get high speed at the point. At this point of the match. Because Onyx is just matching the... Oh! Maneuvers from Bone! Into pure power. Oh, big clothesline there. And I think that is the crazy thing about Onyx is that, like I said, he can switch from a high-flying type of maneuvers immediately to powerhouse type maneuvers. And I think that's something that... Oh, I believe Bone was just busted open. Oh. Oh, look at this. Are we going to have a ring out count here tonight? No. Onyx sending Bone back into the ring. Oh, here it is, Onyx looking. Oh, Onyx hits flatline. Is that enough to put Bone away? Two, no. Bone kicks out. Oh, look at this. Onyx going straight to the top. It goes in for a frog splash from the top. Here it is. One, two, no. Still not enough to put away the high speed high flyer. Oh, look at this. Looks like Onyx looking to put. Bone away with... No! Bone reverses! Oh, look at this. Bone trying to get some fight in him. Trying to show some life. Oh, oh, that... I, I, oh. I, what, I, I, I don't know what happened there. He hit a code breaker. Busted Onyx open as well. Oh, look at this! Bone spike! Is it enough to put Onyx away? One, two, no! Onyx kicks out! Both men have hit their top maneuvers here. Oh, big Itaguri shot to Onyx's face. And we'll say five forever. And here it is. Bone going over the top to taking out. Oh, my God. This is insane. <laughs> I did not picture this match being good at all. But honestly, they are bringing the house down here tonight. Onyx showing everyone why, though he is technically a rookie, he can hang with some of the best. Oh, big close right there. Onyx looking to make a comeback here tonight. Oh, look at this. Thinking that's another put Bone away. Is it enough? No, Bone still going. And Onyx is shocked. He doesn't know what he needs to do here. But look at this. Oh, Bone looking to steal it. One. Oh, only gets a one count from that. Oh, look at that. Breaking the guard of Bone. Onyx throwing Bone to the corner. Now going slow. Looking to probably save some stamina. Oh, what's this? What's Onyx going for here? 
Onyx selling bone to get up. No Onyx selling bone to get up. And now, oh! Untwisted flatline. Wait, it's, it's not even done though. It's not even done. Oh, another flatline for good measure. Is it enough to put bone away? One, two, three, and Onyx keeps. Onyx has put away bone here tonight. This is something I did not see coming. Honestly, I was expecting Bone to come in straight in, out the gate, but Onyx did an amazing job on keeping Bone down. Holy shit, that was amazing. <laughs> that was actually pretty cool. I did not expect that, that was awesome. Uh, Onyx food everybody wrong here tonight. Holy shit. Well, congratulations to Onyx on picking up uh, win against Bone and giving Bone his first pinfall loss in PXC. But now it is on to a rematch, a Bio War rematch here tonight. It is G7 against Jake Lawler. Jake Lawler said that the Slayer of PXC, that's right, G7, uh, his win was nothing more than a fluke. And he can prove it here tonight. And G7 took that as a rematch fighting words. And with that said, he has accepted the rematch. So now it is again G7 going against Jake Lawler. It is the Slayer of PXC going against the self-proclaimed God of Wrestling. G7 has been on a goddamn warpath ever since he has lost his opportunity to fight for the PXT Championship. Two weeks ago, he had a match to see if he could be number one contender for the PXC Championship. Going against Pierce Perch, tried to become the Goat Slayer, but came up short against the man. Then, Jake came with him to a proposition to probably go against both Perch and the Kid to try to steal the number one contenders match at BioWar. Instead, Lawler got pinned by Perch, and because of this, G7 has had nothing but disdain against him. And they both settled their differences at Bioward where G7 was able to drop Lawler with the Kingslayer. Now with that said, can Jake Lawler possibly put away the Slayer here tonight? So far, I want to point out that Onyx has only been pinned once here in PXT. Can Jake be the second? G7 looks ready. Looks ready to again shut the mouth of Jake Lawler. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen, the self-proclaimed god of PXT. Lawler on his debut match was able to pick up a win against Pierce Pert and drop him. But now, ever since losing to the kid, he has struggled to pick up another win here in PXT. So now, the real question is, was his victory actually the fluke? I think Lawler has a lot to prove. He claims to be the self-proclaimed god of wrestling but so far has yet to prove it. Can he do it here tonight by putting away? Not only, I wanna know, G7 has a lot of titles. This will be like the last match G7 will come out on top. Oh, that chat is going on right now. The chat saying that this may be Lawler's last match. <laughs> Honestly, possibly, because G7 fucking goes crazy. Here it is. We have the Slayer of PXC going against the self-proclaimed god. Rematch, Biowar. Here we go. There's a Biowar rematch here tonight. Jake Lawler against G7. And G7 coming straight off the bat with a spine buster. G7 not holding anything back. Oh, big close line to the corner. And I think right now, I think G7 may be, not correction, Lawler may still be hurt from last night to where G7 is still fresh practically. Oh, G7 is just taking full on control. 
showing to everybody that the win was nothing more than a fluke. <laughs> Shutting the mouth of Lawler right now. Oh, but look at this, Lawler. Lawler coming in with big strikes of his own. Oh, big strikes of his own. Now putting down the Slayer, thinking that's enough for the match, but only gets a one. Barely a one. Oh, now Lawler coming in with the heavy strikes that he's known for. It was enough to put away Perch. Is it enough to put away Slayer? Good bridge right there for the pin. But again, only gets a one count. Oh, look at this! Oh, upside dive into a DDT! Now Lawler is coming back at it. He let G7 just show off that. <laughs> he let G7 show off for a bit. Let him use everything he had. And now Lawler is just taking advantage of it. Ooh. Dropping his... Dropping his... Femur? <laughs> just his leg in general. Oh, we have a ma oh, wait, sorry, we have a message to track. Sorry about that. Oh, well, look at this right now. G7 is taking full on control of the match at the moment. He is. Oh, that is. Oh, look at this. Oh, gets thrown. Gut. God damn, gets thrown onto the side of the steel steps. And now Lawler quickly rolling back into the ring. But breaking up the count. G7, though, just quickly coming in. And Lawler coming in quick. And now, look at this. Lawler coming in with the heavy strikes, but G7 coming with a big strike of his own. Oh, I think G7 was trying to go for the shock DDT. Oh, reverses it. Jumping neck breaker right there. Oh, here it is. One, no. Well, that said, now G7 looking to make a comeback here. G7, look. Oh, what's this? G7 getting Lawler into... No! Oh, Lawler getting out of the power bomb. Oh, another big strike. Oh, look at this. Lawler going in for Law in order. Here it is. One, two. No, G7 kicks out of oh, God's Law. Oh, look at this. What's this? What's this? Oh, I think he was about to hit on I think he was about to hit unholy. And now G7 looking to come back here. Oh, hits it! That was a big knee shot right there. And now Lawler looking to correct the wrong here tonight. But G7 still coming back on his own. But again, Lawler. Lawler's now just coming. Boom! And a backbreaker. Back oh my god. Look at this, Lawler. Lawler now is taking full on control. I think he pretty much led G7 think that this was going to be an easy peasy type of match, but now Lawler is just purely taking control. And here it is, another. Oh no! G7 reverses it. He reverses the God's Law. And here it is. We're about to see it here. Oh, shock DDT. I thought we were about to see King Slayer. Here it is. One, two, no. Lawler kicks out. What's G7 gonna go for here? Look at this! Jump, jump shock! It's the jump shock! Here it is! Here it is! Is it gonna be? Here's ladies and gentlemen, King Slayer! Is that enough to put away the self-proclaimed god? Yes, it is! G7 picking up another victory against Lawler, showing that it was not. G7, holy shit, man. <laughs> I tell you, G7 is a goddamn, not a menace, but holy shit, he is the slayer of PXT. And again, shutting Lawler up. Again. My god. Congratulations to G7. G7 still, still being the god slayer. Congratulations, G7, for not only shutting up the doubters, saying that it was just a one-time fluke, including Jake Lawler, but just keeping now the title God Slayer. But, ladies and gentlemen, as all good things come, it is now time for our main event here.
Ladies and gentlemen, want to introduce y'all all to the newest signing of PXT, Shane Henry, making his in-ring debut here in PXT. Correction, PXT debut. Shane Henry has been dreaming of this moment since he was a kid, and now he gets to live it. Now the question is, is he able to prove to everybody that he deserves to be here at PXT? No, no, he, he, he's still signed. I just want to point that out. That sounds like I just said if he doesn't win, he's not going to stay. He's going to stay. I need to point that out here. I have to point that out here because I, I don't know. It sounds it sound like I just said if he loses, he doesn't stay. But no, it's not, it's not the case, I swear. The point is, Shane making his PXT debut here. Ready to prove to everybody here that he belongs and that he's here to make goddamn waves. And now, he has to fight someone I never thought would be back here in any of our type of promotions. Ladies and gentlemen, this man was a former United States Champion, a former Intercontinental Champion, and a former World Heavyweight Champion, all at the same time at WWE. Ladies and gentlemen, we introduce you to the Triple Crown Champion, Electro! Ladies and gentlemen, this is the brother of Abcol. That is correct. He has been the self-proclaimed Triple Crown Champion. Everywhere he goes, he always claims three titles. And I believe here tonight, he's just here to show everybody that he's here to make statements. And he's here to prove to everybody that he's here to be a champion once again. He is known as the Electric Eagle of Wrestling. He's made shocking results everywhere he goes. Holy shit, that fucking hurt my ears. The point is, Electro is here to make his in-ring debut at PXT. Now, real quick, we're going to point out what this type of match is. This is a division draw match. In other words, whoever wins the match gets the first drawing of which division they will be in. Now, sadly, the winner will not get to choose. It will be under a random draw, but they will be able to get the draw first. So this is to determine if Lawler will be in the YouTube title division or the PXT title division. Here we go. Lawler coming in straight off the bat against the former Triple Crown champion. And now, oh, Lawler just showing everything up. Wait, I say Lawler. Shane! <laughs> oh, Shane going in for his first pin, but quickly gets kicked out by the Electric Eagle. Now, Shane coming in with a sleeper hold. But, oh, the former Triple Crown champion. Gonna come back at it. Look at this. Oh! The former Triple Crown champion. Everywhere Electro goes, he carries gold. And there's a reason for it all! Oh, a disaster kick to Shane! Oh, but Shane quickly disorienting the former Triple Crown champion. Shane came out to make statement again, getting caught in a big kick from the Electric Eagle. Oh, gets caught there. Electro has been here, near and far. He's been everywhere. And he's shown the show that he can claim titles in any promotion he goes to. Oh. Dropping down. And now look at this. Look at this. Electro looking. Oh. I think Electro might be getting desperate. I think that was... I think that was him trying to make a comeback here. Look at this. Oh! Gets him in a suplex. Quickly shots him in. Oh! Quickly gets him. My God. There's a reason. Electro is a triple count champion. Hits the electric talent. Here it is. One. Two. No. Shane was able to kick out. 
Oh, but look at this. Shane looking to make a comeback here. Shane coming in. Oh, beautiful move there. What's Shane going to do here? Shane going in. Oh, beautiful cutter. That was a beautiful cutter from Shane. Isn't it enough to put away Electro? No. Electro kicks out. Shane coming in for a ripcord knee to drop the Electric Eagle. Oh, look at this. What is this? Oh, beautiful move right there from Shane and Shane going to the outside with an over-the-top maneuver. Not giving the Electric Eagle a chance to do anything, but quickly, Electro coming back. And oh! I think it was a big clothesline there. Oh, Electro looking to... Oh, but look at this. Oh, Shane just taking... This <laughs> full on bringing the fight to the former Triple Crown champion. And oh, so is Electro. Honestly, with this placement match, I, I honestly think both men will be exceptionally well in either division they go to. And right now, both men are just fighting on the outside. Wait, 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 wait. What's going on here? Oh, I believe Electro is actually doing <laughs> doing what he actually does best and actually is just going to let the ref count Shane out. But Shane quickly getting up and not going to give Electro an easy victory here tonight. Oh, big clothesline. And Shane kicks up. Shane's going in. Oh, good move there from Shane. Shane looking to make statements here with a ripcord elbow. Shane making statements. Here it is. Oh, beautiful knee shot. Is that enough to put away the former Triple Crown champion? No, Electro is still going. Everybody's behind Shane. Everybody go over. Oh, but Electro moves out of the shooting star press. Oh, there is. Oh, look at this. It's the electric lock. It's the shock lock. Oh, but Shane. Shane getting out of it. Shane getting out of the shock lock. Oh, look at this. Oh, big shot there. But look at this. Electro looking to probably seal the deal here tonight. But Shane's not giving up. For Shane's debut match, he is giving it all on the line against Electro here. He is putting it all out. Oh, here it is. Oh, my God. He calls this the triple. He calls this the triple crown moonsault. He's going in for the final triple crown moonsault. Is that another put away, Shane? One, two, no! Shane kicks out! Electro getting Shane up and quickly dropping him back down. Honestly, you gotta give props to Shane. He is giving it his all against a former Triple Crown champion. And he's holding his own because I think even Electro is starting to get frustrated here tonight. Oh! Interesting type of flat line there. And now Electro with a little bit of showboating here. A lot of showboating here. Look at that. Thinking Shane is nothing more than a joke, but Shane looking to get an advantage. Oh, hits a big knee to the face of the former Triple Crown champion. Can Shane pick up the win here tonight? Can he prove to everybody he's here for a reason, but gets dropped quick. Oh, oh, it's going for a big punch, but Shane blocks it. Shane now coming in. Shane coming in. Oh, beautiful cutter. But Electro quickly gets out of the ring, realizing that he might be a danger. Look at this. The mind games being played by the former Triple Crown champion. And now dropping Shane with an Alabama slam. Oh, but Shane looking to reverse it. Big punch there. 
Shane looking to put it everybody that even rookies can take out former glory beautiful suplex oh look at this all oh, big power bomb there and now big knee Shane is making statements here showing everybody that though he's a rookie he can hang with some of the best in the world can Shane put away the Triple Crown champion? Oh, big punch there, another big punch. Look at this, here comes the big strikes from Shane. Shane coming out with huge strikes. The face of the former Triple Crown champion, but now it's a count of eight. Shane needs to get him back in the ring. And Shane breaks up the count, looking to do as much damage as possible to the outside of the ring. I think Shane realized that Electro has too much an advantage inside and is now taking advantage on the outside. Look at this. Shane, I think, thinking that this could be it. I think he's going to try hitting him with one of his cutters here tonight. Oh, but look at this. Oh, Electro coming back at it. Can Electro put away oh, Electric Talon to the face of Shane? Is it enough to put him away? One, two, three, and it was just enough to take down Shane. But honestly, you cannot take anything away. He gave Electro possibly the run for his money here tonight. Congratulations to Electro for making his in-ring debut here tonight. But now, and with this said, when we look at the screen now, we are going to see where Electro falls. Electro has been placed in the PXT title division, which means Shane will be put into the YouTube title division. Now, honestly, Shane, goddamn, he went straight up the bat. He showed no fear against the former PXT champion, and somehow my hands are covered in ink. I don't know how. I think one of my pens are busted. It might be this one. This one might be busted. No, no. Yes, it is. All right. Well, either way, I got to clean that up. But either way, thank you guys for watching PXT tonight. Honestly, can't wait for Hellfire, which is coming on later this month. Uh, right now, we're doing these things weekly. So PXT will come back to Sunday next week. So Sunday is PM if you guys want to come on down for that. And if you guys enjoyed the episode, uh, go ahead and share it with your friends. It helps us out. And if they have WWE 2K23 and if they want their wrestlers in, Tell them to put in PXT in any of their hashtags. It'll be easier to find them. And no, we're still looking for a females division as well. So if they're interested in that, tell them to come on down. But for right now, that's it from us. Thank you guys for watching PXT. Take care. Have a great night. I'm out of here. Bye.